A little over a year ago, my 15-year-old daughter and my 16-year-old son and I were having a discussion. And somehow, the topic of abortion came up. And I was thinking to myself, oh God, where is this going to go? And right away, my son showed true compassion. He was like, Dad, if they don't want the baby, why can't they just give it to the police or the authorities? They don't have to kill it. But my daughter was so cold and apathetic. I just could not believe that. But I knew somebody had gotten to her. She was talking about how the baby was really nothing until it makes a certain stage in its development. And she was saying things like, well, dad, it's, it's, it's the woman's body it would be my body. So, you know, I can make that decision. I thought to myself, I said, well, I'm not going to try and make this about me and what I think because I'm biased. I look at her and I look at my son. I said, well, there's no way that I could be cold against either of you guys because I love you so much. Whether you're this big or as big as you are now. So my goal was not to win, but to make her think. And I think I did a good job. I said, baby, you know, daddy's really upset the way you kind of make this life it seem like it's nothing. Then she goes, well, dad, it can't even talk or do nothing, you know. So basically, she set herself up. I said, so what did daddy always tell you about communication? What's the greatest form of communication? She goes, well, nonverbal. I said, this new life form that's inside of a woman's body can't say a word. But through his actions, it's saying yes to life. A loud and resounding yes to life. I said, you learned in reproduction class how the cell splits, right? She goes, yes, daddy. Every single time that cell splits, that baby is saying yes to life. Yes, I want to grow up to look just like my dad. Yes, I want to grow up to be taken care of by my mom and dad. Yes, I want to grow up and be somebody for the world. Yes, I choose life. So when daddy looks at you and your brother, I see trillions of yeses because I know that you chose life. My baby went silent and that was the end of that. I noticed that politically, a lot of people can't be impartial and just simply state their case, whether you're pro-abortion or anti-abortion. A lot of politicians seem like they want to bully their points across. I feel like it's my innate duty to speak up for the people or beings that can't speak up for themselves. To say that I can do what I want because it's my body. That feels like a very slippery slope to me. It takes two to make the life, but it's one decision to take it. What's more powerful than deciding who lives or dies? The Bible says that when you die, you transition at the blink of an eye. I also believe that life begins the same way. If you don't want to have kids, just be responsible. But don't let taking a life be a part of your decision making. Thank you very much.